Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to, to put some uh, heat sinks on the back of your GPU. So, things you're going to need are alcohol pads or isotropic or isopropyl alcohol, anything, just to clean the heat sink and GPU. Some thermal tape, a heat sink. And of course, you can't forget your GPU. Today I'm going to be putting a heatsink on a 3090. <coughs> uh, 3080s and 3090s, they get pretty darn hot. So most of them usually need uh, new thermal pads and a heatsink. But this MSI 3090, uh, I mean, it doesn't get too hot. It, it performs actually pretty well. But then uh, it gets around, what, 120 mega hash? 121 mega hash, but then the temperatures, junction temps get around like 106. So uh, I've put one heatsink before on one of them, and it really improved it. Uh, I mean, it didn't really improve that much, but it took the temperatures down by maybe like uh, six eight degrees. So that's that's good enough for me. So first things first. So I got these, uh, these sticks are actually pretty, pretty big. They're 9 cm by 16, I think. I got them from Thailand, but, but most people usually get the small heat sticks and they just stick it to the GPU. Mine is like almost the precise, uh, size of the 3090 so it goes on pretty snug I'll, well, I only have the tie link so maybe I'll leave the tie link maybe you can order from Thailand yourself or I also maybe I'll leave an Amazon link as well so first thing you want to do is clean the heat sink the back of the heat sink Some alcohol pads. Mm, I got some scratches on there, but that's fine. Clean the heat sink. Uh, clean the back of the GPU as well, where you're gonna stick it. So I'm gonna stick it right here. That's where most of the heat is generated. And uh, at first, I thought it would be bad covering this open air. Uh, I thought it might heat up the GPU more, but I already tested it on the other other graphic card, and it worked pretty darn well. So it, I think it's okay to cover it. So just clean it. All right, put that aside. Pad aside. And the next thing you'll need, especially when the GPU is like sideways on the rig. You're gonna need uh, thermal tape. Like normal tape isn't gonna cut it, cause you know it doesn't transfer heat. A, th a thermal tape transfer double-sided thermal tape. I got this from Thailand as well, since I'm, I live near there, so I usually order from Thailand. So I already had some tape before, so it's gonna stick this puppy. Try to be precise as you can, but you don't have to be too precise, I guess. These puppies stick pretty darn well. So. Uh, try to press it too. You don't want air pockets in there. Oh my god, I forgot to do it for the middle, but that's okay. Only a bit of air pockets, which is fine. Cut off the extra side. There we go. It's actually pretty simple, I guess. Putting heat sinks on the back. Some people just put a 
thermal pad, I think. But that's uh, they usually do it in their actual PC where the graphic card is like laying horizontal and not vertical. On the rigs, it's gonna be vertical, so you can't just stick it to a thermal pad. It'll just cool right off. So you need tape, unfortunately. As you can see, I didn't do it pretty well. This stuff is... The heatsink I got is pretty heavy. I think smaller ones will work better. But I think the thermal tick is so sticky, it actually holds it up pretty well. I already have about four of my GPUs done on this, with this. And it's been like a month, they're holding pretty well. Okay. Let's position it. <sighs> Gonna try to align it. Like I said, guys, I think it's okay to cover it. Gonna put it around here. Again, you don't want air pockets. Try to go from one side to the other. Make sure it's really stuck there. that and it sticks pretty well too I didn't I made it pretty messy here anyway yeah these should hold it pretty well the thermal tape should hold it pretty well anyway guys thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions please leave it in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time